everyone. My name is Mia Inke and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about Etsy hacks, like all the tips and tricks on Etsy to get you some sales because, you know, it's all about that money. Um, so anyway, a little bit about me. I have actually been um, selling on Etsy now since 2012, so I have about a decade or so worth of experience, and I actually also own three shops on Etsy. This is one of them, BB Hair Care Shop, where I sell braiding hair and colorful braiding hair and just everything for your hair care needs. And then my second shop, is this one it's this is my tribes of kin shop where i sell african print fabric mask etc etc and then i have one more etsy shop which is right here which is my fruit shop it's called naked with plants and i sell fruits and things so um, but let's get right into some tips and tricks to get you sales because, you know, um, I want you all to make some money. I want your business to profit. And I am so happy that I have all this experience and I'm going to share it with you guys. So the first trick or the first hack is to... Um, Earn free listings. Yes, you can actually like earn free listings. So what you want to do is to come here where it says earn free listings as you can see. And then It pretty much just says that you can receive free listings if you invite someone to become a seller on Etsy and they complete the process of opening a new shop. And if a member has already begun to set up a shop, but their shop isn't open to the public yet, the promotion cannot apply. The recommended account must be a buyer-only account before the code can be redeemed. So make sure that you read, you know, you read all the rules so that you know how to participate. And so you pretty much brings you down here where it says go here. You click on that and it'll take you to this page where you can um, you can invite people directly by put, entering their email right there. Or you can um, just tweet it onto your Twitter page or whatever um, and it, you can also you know post it on Facebook but just my advice is to post it everywhere I'm actually going to be putting my link for you to get 40 free listings I'm gonna be putting them underneath this video so if you're new and you're opening up your Etsy shop use my link below and we're both gonna get four listings because even though the listings are only 20 cents per listing, it adds up over time. So, yeah, make sure you um, use my link below if you need to. So that's trick number one. So trick number two is to, let's go back. Trick number two is to make sure that you're paying attention to your stats. So if once you click on stats here, it takes you to where you can really see what's going on as far as this particular listing is concerned. You see everything, how many visits, how many items sold, revenue, um, how many orders from this particular listing alone and you, you have a whole graph there you can take a look at you see where the traffic is coming from 
Is it from social media or Etsy marketing and CEO or wherever? But um, you definitely want to. You you also see what search ter terms they're using to find this listing. So some of the search terms that people are using are all listed here. So that's also like a clue of a clue to you as far as what you should be typing in for your tags so that you could easily be found. So that, um, yeah, that's just a little cheat code right there. So yes, make sure you're checking your, um, your stats and that's that for that. So my third hack is going to be the hack where you actually, um, you can hide your um, hide your Etsy sales history. So right now mine is hidden, but let me show you what would happen if it wasn't hidden. So this is how you hide your sales history. You go to settings and then you go to options and right here in options you scroll all the way down to the bottom and you see, you see where it says want shoppers to be able to see the to see these you do do I so it's telling it's asking you do you want shoppers to be able to see your sold listings you select no okay so you want to hide your listings because if it's not hidden let me show you what happens when it's not hidden. So if it's not hidden, they get to click here under the sales and they will see everything, like all the items that you've been selling, what's been, like this is all sold. See, sold, 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 sold. So this is everything. So that way, they can actually like just copy you and figure out what's selling and use that to take your customers. So you want to make sure that it's hidden. No one can see that. So let's go back and hide it so that only you can see it. So let's Go back here to settings. Option. And hide them. Save. So that's tip number three. And let's move on to tip number four. Tip number four, we're going to rearrange our um, our listing so that it looks, this is what it looks like now, but let me show you how to rearrange it. You just go to edit shop right there from your header, and then you see rearrange items. You click on that, and you can rearrange them so that it's, you can put like um, matching items together. Like for example, I have all the pre-stretched there. I can move this up here. So now all of them are all on the same level and they're all side by side to each other. So it makes it easier for my customers to just click and, and buy. And you can even arrange them by colors. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much how you rearrange your listing so that it makes it, um, easier for your customers and also aesthetically pleasing for your customers. Oh, so instead of like, also instead of dragging it up to, since I want, I want 14 to 
come over to where five is, I can just put 14 there and enter and it moved it for me. So actually, yes, yeah, so I wanted, um, let's move 13 to number five. What happened? So 13 to number five. So I'll go to 13 here and I put five and you see how it's switch places with that one. And, um, yeah, so let's do 16, let's move 16 up to number six. And there it, it, it is. And yeah, so that's pretty much how, now I'm obsessed, I want to move them up. All, I want to move all the colorful ones up top. <laughs> Okay, I think I am satisfied with it now. Okay, so then once you're done, you just exit rearrange mode and you view your shop. Now you can see how it looks. So yeah, that's how you do that. That's tip number four. So tip number five is to pin your listings. Oh my God, this is so important. So you want to go to the listing individually, you click on pin save. And you should already have choices to pin it into, or you can create a new a board. You should already have, I already have boards here, but if you don't, you can always like create a new board. So I'll just pin it under the braids board here. And that's pretty much it and also you know you Facebook it and tweet it but pinning is you get great results from pinning but definitely do all three so on to tip number five tip number five is to make sure you're collecting people's emails and just encouraging them to follow you on all your social media sites. And you can do that by putting a flyer in each 
order that says, you know, follow us on Instagram or like tag us on Instagram, tweet us on Twitter. So, um, yeah, that's one way to just keep them, to have them like follow you outside of Etsy. So make sure you're doing that, encouraging them to follow you everywhere so that you can have them as customers forever, as repeat customers and potentially customers forever. And even though I was showing you about pinning your post without showing you how to, um, you would first want to connect to your Pinterest account before you um, start pinning your post. But another way to um, another thing that you can do is to collect emails. If you're sending out a flyer, you can definitely also just encourage them to give you their email address and of course give them offer them an incentive you know like 10% off or free shipping or something so that's um that's another tip for you that's tip number five so tip number six is to offer free shipping so the way that you do that is just to don't charge shipping. Just include the shipping cost in with your um, in with just include add add it to your add it to your cost. Add shipping to your cost and make that the whole cost. So, for example, if you have an item that's ten dollars and shipping is gonna cost five dollars, just just add it together and say $15 for this item, free shipping included. That way they don't have to, they feel like they're not paying additional for shipping. It works. I don't, you know, trust me, just trust me on this one. Especially because when you're, when someone searches for an item on Etsy, multiple listings are going to come up and they're more than likely going to go with the free shipping option. So make sure you're offering them free shipping. And then tip number six is to create a coupon code. So to, in order to do that, you want to go under marketing here and sales and coupons. And you can create a new special offer which is you can run a sale, you can set up an offer, or you can create a coupon. So in this case, we can let's create a coupon and for percent for percentage off you you get to pick what you want that to be. You can do a free standard shipping. So it would be like here's a coupon code for free shipping. Or you can do here's a coupon code for 20% off or here's a coupon code for $10 off. It's up to you what you want to pick. But um, once it's all created, you can um, keep that handy and share it with like your special customers. And say, for example, if sometimes people reach out to you and they're like, hey, I'm buying a lot of items. Can I get a discount? So this is where, this is how, like, this is when this comes in, where you can create one, or you can either just create one and, and keep to use or, or share to certain people, or you can create one right away and send it to them, especially for them. This is where you're going to go. When you go to your dashboard, you get to see, like, an overview of how your whole shop is performing. You see all the recent activities and everything that's, you know, happening. All your recent purchases and all that stuff. That's where you find it right here. 
everybody that's like heart like liking stuff and you can even um if we go back here to sales and coupons you can send out coupons to people that have like abandoned their cart people sometimes like put things in their carts as you know as we all know and then don't actually check out so you can set up a campaign especially for that and you can send it to people that abandon your cart or people that recently faved your shop items I guess yeah so you can go right there to like retarget them again you can do abandoned cart or recently fave so let's do recently faved let's give them 10% off and let's choose a code let's we can just call the code fave faves 2021 something like that and then you can go ahead and review it and I can just once I launch this it will send it to everyone that has recently faved it recently faved my any items in my shop and they will be able to use this coupon code to get 10% off and they're more than likely going to come back and buy it now if I send them a little something something off. And you see it says shoppers who qualify for this coupon will now get it automatically. So that's another way to bring them back. So the last tip that I'm going to give you is to create automatic messages. And the way that you do that is to just go into your messages and you label it. You create a new label. Let's say, let's label this one. Um, let's label this one. Late reply. And you brief click compose. The recipient. Is anybody that. The recipient will be. For anybody that messages you, but you're for so for whatever reason, if someone messages you and you're not available to respond right away, you can quickly share this with them, and then when you actually have time, so you, because sometimes you know we get messages, and a customer is inquiring about something, and you're in the middle of like work or schooling or driving or whatever and you can't really answer right away but you see it come in you can um you can quickly send them you can make a, an automatic message to send to everyone that to send to people when someone messages you about something in and, and you can't reply right away so the subject will be, let's call it, late reply. And it could pretty much just be like, hello, and thank you so much for reach. For reaching out
I cannot reply right now, but we'll be getting back to you ASAP, or if you have an exact time, you can put that, or you can say within the hour. or within the hour. I mean, it really, it's up to you. Just figure out what, what works best for you. And that's what you do. That's what you put there, but you pretty much just save this reply. And it takes you to a library where you can save all your replies for whatever you you think you're anticipating, and then it'll just you know it could be for custom orders, personalization, refuse. You can also do one that's like for that sends a message out to everybody that sends you a, a review. If you like the review. You can send this to them. It could say something like, thank you so much for your review. We really appreciate your business. And, you know, just little things like that, just to thank them. Because little things like that, even just to thank you, matters. So, yeah, so this is just a little tip for you to save you on some, to save you a lot of time. You just want to, like, do, um, automatic automatic messages because sometimes we're not around and this helps a lot it, it'll let your customer know that you appreciate them or it'll let them know that in the case for like a review or you can just it'll also let them know that hey i can't you know i can't reply right now but i'll be with you as soon as i get the chance to and you also make want to make sure that you keep your word and follow up if you tell the customer you're going to reply within the next, you know, whatever, 24 hours or whatever, just make sure that you you keep that promise. Yes, and sometimes, too, people, like, shipping arrivals, people message you like, hey, it, my, my item was shipped and I never received it. You can be like, you can create a message that says, hey, thank you so much for getting in touch and letting me know. Let me investigate the matter and get back to you as soon as possible. Boom. You know, so that way, like, they're not sitting there worrying. Because people, when people message you, they want to hear back from you right away. So that pretty much concludes my Etsy hacks and tips and tricks. I hope that this helps you a lot. And if you found, if you got any value from this, if you learned anything new from this, Please just support me by following me, by sharing this with someone else, by hitting the like button, by commenting below and tell me which tips and tricks you didn't know that you know now. Show me some love if you really like this. I want my channel to grow and I am making it an effort to bring you new videos every week on Fridays. My name is Mia Ayinke, and you can find me on Instagram at Tribes of Kin. Thank you so much for joining me. This was Etsy Hacks, Tips, and Tricks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.